Hey, Python nieces, data engineers, data scientists, welcome back to another in the series on Fluent Python. This is Luciano Romalo's fantastic book about Fluent Python. This episode, we're going to be looking at slices, so stick around. Okay, so what we're going to do is a common feature of list string tuple is the slicing method. So that is this uh, syntax right here. Here I have a list of five elements. If I want to effectively cut it in half from um, this element, what you'll see here is that it starts from zero and then up to, but not including uh, the second item here. Uh, this is the first list that it's gonna return and this is the second. It can effectively cut things uh, in half if you need them, cut them into two or multiple separate pieces. So if you do something like list um, one here and then It'll return that and then list of, let's say one, two, three. Okay, and then list of, what you can do is three on. So I've cut that into three chunks using the slice methodology. Not methodology, but um, approach. I suppose it's a method, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> Uh, so what you can also do is do this with string, as I mentioned. So um, slicing has start, stop, and step, right? So this is just the step every um, third item from starting with the first, so W, one, two, three, D, okay? And then you can go backwards, you can flip. This will flip the word around uh, if you need to do that or backwards uh, by two. So starting with D012, getting O. <clears throat> Another neat thing about slicing is you don't even need to commit to the slice. You can create what I have here. Luciano Romala has a, a better example in the book, but I'm not gonna uh, set it up. It's, it's kind of involved, but essentially it amounts to this, that you can declare this like global, which is a slice of 11 to 17, say just create that and then apply it to things. So if I want um, really big pie in a piece of that pie, um, the slice 11 to 17 will give me pie. So in, in the string, give me the center of this piece, it'll give me the center uh, just because I plotted it out that way with, with the strings. And then for no pie left, it doesn't, we don't have any characters that reach this slice. So we're not going to, we're not going to get there. Okay. So that's just a quick video about slicing really powerful, uh, to use. You can chunk up mutable objects, uh, pretty effectively with it. You can create it as a global and then use it in different places. Um, so that's it. Tune in next time. If you want to check out, if you're interested in, in projects, building out projects, t check out, uh, my new project growth and, uh, we'll see you next time.